the current non-Jewish Messiah was chosen to be of service to the Jewish people and the Jewish Messiah. President Trump's right ear was grazed in a symbolic gesture of Exodus 21.6, where the Torah states that a servant who wants to remain with his master needs to have his right ear pierced. Trump was designated as God's servant and anointed one, just like Cyrus the Great almost 2400 years ago. We have clarified in several videos that the absolute deadline for the redemption is by the end of the Jewish year 5787, which corresponds to October 2nd, 2027, 1167 days from today. Thus, the redemption will surely occur during Donald Trump's tenure. And I have good reason to believe Donald Trump was chosen to be the one to redeem the sins of Esau through offering his assistance in rebuilding the Holy Temple on the Temple Mount and establishing the Jewish kingdom over all of mankind in Jerusalem. Perhaps it is no accident that the numeric value of Donald Trump in Hebrew is the same as Messiah, son of David, Mashiach ben David, 424. However, Donald Trump is mistaken if he thinks he was chosen to make America great again. He will no doubt do a lot of good things to strengthen our economy, protect our borders, and allow religious freedom to flourish. But America will never become a gate country on its own, because Esau's days are numbered. All our elite institutions and centers of power and influence are rotten through and through. The majority of Americans under 30 who are college educated and who are the future leaders of America support the vicious monsters of Hamas rather than the holy and courageous soldiers of the IDF. No human being, even Donald Trump, can reverse this. No, the greatness of America does not lie in its own success. America will, will be great when the Messiah comes, and the leader of this country, on behalf of all the good people in this country, will humbly present himself to the Jewish Messiah and ask him to accept the United States of America into a new alliance of countries who accept the leadership of the Messiah. A new United Nations will replace the current cesspool that goes by that fraudulent name. A real United Nations, united to serve God, led by the Messiah and based in Jerusalem. And my feeling is that the United States under President Trump will be the first nation to join.